Hello world, my name is Samanya Gurk and my supervisor is Professor Angelo Cangelosi. The topic of my project is group emotion recognition. So I'll start by talking about the applications of emotion recognition followed by the rise of group emotion recognition and the challenges faced by it. Then I'm going to talk about the objective of the project, the method that I used and the tools and the technologies that I used. Finally, I'll be showcasing the results as well as the web application and the Android application that I created for this project. So let's get started. Automatic facial emotion recognition is a challenging task that has gained significant scientific interest and has applications in crowd analytics, social media, marketing, event detection and summarization, public safety, human computer interaction, and many other areas. The problem of emotion recognition for a group of people has been less extensively studied, but it is slowly gaining popularity due to the massive amounts of data available on social networking websites containing images of groups of people in various social uh, events. Group emotion recognition is a challenging problem due to obstructions like head and body pose variations, occlusions, variable lighting conditions, variance of actors, uh, varied indoor and outdoor settings, and image quality. So the objective of this project is to classify a group's perceived emotion as positive, neutral, or negative. The data set that I'm using for this project is the Group Effect Database version 3.0, which has been generously provided by the organizers of a competition called the EmotiW Challenge. It contains in the wild images of groups of people in various social environments. Um, it comprises of 9,815 images in the training set, divided into three classes, positive, neutral, and negative and 4,346 images in the validation set, again divided into the three uh, original classes. My method for this project is basically a novel combination of Bayesian networks and convolutional neural networks. So it consists of two modules, the top-down module and the bottom-up module, which work in parallel. So the convolutional neural network works from the bottom to the top, analyzing individual uh, emotions expressed by the uh, isolated human faces, whereas the Bayesian network um, estimates a global emotion integrating top-down features obtained through a scene descriptor. In order to integrate both the modules, the output of the bottom-up module can be passed as input um, into the Bayesian network in the top-down module. So using this uh, method, we achieved an accuracy of 65.27% on the validation set which is very similar to the baseline results obtained by the organizers of the EmotiW Challenge, who used a very deep Inception version 3 uh, neural network, whereas we achieved similar results with much less computing power and resources. So here's an overview of the tools and technologies that are used to develop this project. So the project has mainly been coded in Python 3.7. I used KRAS as the deep learning framework in order to train the neural networks. Um, I used a Python-based web framework called Floss to develop the web application and develop the Android application in Android Studio. Now, since we need to train uh, the neural network, it requires a lot of computing power. Um, it is not possible to train a neural network for image classification on, uh, on CPU as it takes a lot of time. So GPU capabilities needed to be explored which is why we used uh, Google's free cloud service called Google Colab um, in order to train our neural network. It provides 12 gigs of RAM and a Tesla K80 GPU for training the neural networks. And finally, here are some of the libraries that I used. So I used NumPy, Scikit-learn, and Pandas for numerical processing. Um, I used PGMPy for the Bayesian network, um, OpenCV and Elib for image pre-processing and finally I used Google's Vision API to do the label detection. All right now let's head over to the demo. I'll showcase the web application first and then I'll showcase the Android application. So this is the web application. It is a progressive web application which means that it is very responsive and it works on any device taking advantage of the native features available on the user's device. Um, the backend for this application has been developed in Flask, which is a Python-based web development framework. And the front end has been developed using Bootstrap Material Design. So as you can see, it has a really simple and intuitive user interface. Now let me show you uh, an overview of the whole application. 
So first of all, the user gets the option to either upload their own image or select one from our collection. So we have some images for each of the three categories in our collection. Um, then when the user selects an image, they get the option to uh, process that image, which will give them the uh, respective probabilities for each of the emotions. And then finally, I have some information about the project to let the user know how um, this uh, project works. So that's basically it for the interface. Now let me give you an actual demo. So like, let's say if I choose this image, uh, it gets loaded here. Now if I click process image, uh, it will start processing this image and it will take around 8 to 10 seconds to get back the result. As you can see, it says it's 99.79% positive. 0.21% neutral and 0% negative. We also get the CNN predictions for the individual faces from the image. So we get three detected faces and each one of them has been identified as uh, positive. As you can see, we have three faces here. Um, this person has not been detected because he's not facing the camera. Um, so that's uh, the individual predictions. Then we also get the predictions for the whole group. So these are the predictions for the bottom-up module, which is using the CNN. So we get 84% uh, probability that it is positive, 12% that it's neutral, and 3% that it's negative. Similarly, for the Bayesian network, it gets gives 98% positive, and then if we combine both the methods together, so our whole pipeline gives 99.79% probability of the image being positive. So that's it for the, mob, uh, for the web application. Now let me give you a demo of the mobile application. So this is the Android application. As you can see, it is pretty much uh, the same as the web application. It uses a web view to create a wrapper around the progressive web app, along with Android's native elements, allowing a user to access their devices hardware to take pictures so this helps make the app maintainable as just the code for the web application needs to be updated when a change is required instead of updating both the apps separately so the user here gets two options to choose the photos either they can choose it from the gallery of their phone or they can use the camera to take a picture and get the real-time predictions um, for that image so let me choose the camera here I'll quickly take a photo and process that. So let's just process this image. And we get these predictions. So it says 51% probability of being neutral and 49% of positive. We also get the uh, individual faces from the image. So there were two faces and we got both of them. And then finally, we also get the overall group predictions for the whole image. So we get the CNN only predictions, Bayesian network predictions, and the whole pipeline predictions. Um, so that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Um, I really appreciate it.